welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about the future continuous tense. Let's get started. Now, we use the future continuous to say that we will be in the middle of doing something at a certain time in the future. Remember that we often use this tense when we compare what we are doing now with what we will be doing in the future. Have a look at the example over here. The movie starts at 8 and ends at 10. At 9, I will be watching the movie. Now, the future continuous tense is used in the sentence to talk about what I will be doing in the near future. To form the future continuous tense, use will plus be plus verb ing. The negative won't plus be plus verb ing. Have a look at the examples below. Positive sentence. Sarah will be flying home at 5 o'clock tomorrow. Negative sentence. Sarah will not be flying home at 5 o'clock tomorrow. Or she won't be flying home at 5 o'clock tomorrow. Question form. Will Sarah be flying home at 5 o'clock tomorrow? Another question. Where will she be flying at 5 o'clock tomorrow? Now we can also use the future continuous tense with phrases such as at 5 o'clock, at that time tomorrow, this evening, in 5 years time, etc. As in the example below. Where will you be living in three years' time? Future. Note that we also use the future continuous to say that something will definitely happen in the future. Have a look at the example below. I'll be going to the shop later. Can I get you anything? Note that the future continuous tense is used in the sentence because I will definitely go shopping later. Now let's compare will be doing with the other continuous forms. Jane has an ordinary 9 to 5 job. At 11 o'clock yesterday, she was working. This sentence is in the past continuous. At 11 o'clock today, she is working. Present continuous. At 11 o'clock tomorrow, she will be working. Future continuous. Now let's review and practice a bit. Remember that we use will plus be plus the ing form of the verb to make sentences into the future continuous. Now read the following sentence and provide the future continuous form of the words in the bracket. It'll be a busy morning for me. I to cook, I to clean, I to wash the dishes, and I to get my siblings ready for school. It'll be a busy morning for me. I'll be cooking. I'll be cleaning, I'll be washing the dishes, and I'll be getting my siblings ready for school. Remember to form questions by inverting the subject and will, and to form negatives with will not or won't be plus the ing form of the verb. Use contracted forms. Now read the following sentences and provide the future continuous form of the words in the bracket. Why you to work on your project that late? Well, I not to work on it alone at least. Why will you be working on your project that late? Well, I won't be working on it alone at least. Now read the following sentence and find time markers. 
In one year's time, I will be traveling across Europe. One year's time. Remember to use the future continuous to say that something will definitely happen in the future. Now read the following sentence and provide the future continuous form of the word in the bracket. You can't take my laptop. I to use it during my presentation today. You can't take my laptop. I will be using it during my presentation today. Note the difference between will be doing and the other continuous forms. Now read the following sentence and provide the appropriate continuous form of the words in the bracket. Yesterday, I to wait for my paycheck, and tomorrow, I to go on a cruise. Yesterday, I was waiting for my paycheck, and tomorrow, I will be going on a cruise. Here is a short story using the future continuous tense. Listen as I read so you can see how they are used in real-life conversation. After I'm done, make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. Dan, will you be using your bike this afternoon? Yes, you can't take it. Will you be going outside then? Yes, I'll be going out with my friends tonight. Do you need something? Will you be passing the post office? Most probably. Can you get my package? Okay. I hope this package is not heavy. And now, it's time for you to practice on your own. Read the following sentences and underline the correct phrase. A. We won't move, be moving to our new apartment at this time on Thursday. B. This time next week, Susan will play, will be playing football with her friends. C. Where will Sam Sam will be working in one year's time. And now, read the following sentences and write the correct form. A. You'll recognize her. She to wear a red dress. B. Everyone to sleep at that hour. C. Fred to work as a lead developer in four years' time. D. At 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, I to take my son to daycare. And now, answer the following questions. A. What will you be doing at 7 p.m. tomorrow? B. What will you be doing in five years' time? C. What will people be celebrating on the 1st of January? Now let's check your answers. We won't be moving to our new apartment at this time on Thursday. This time next week, Susan will be playing football with her friends. Where will Sam be working in one year's time? You'll recognize her. She'll be wearing a red dress. Everyone will be sleeping at that hour. Fred will be working as a lead developer in four years' time. At 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, I will be taking my son to daycare. 
Sample answers. I'll be driving to Boston this time tomorrow. I'll be working at a tech company. People will be celebrating New Year on the 1st of January. Thank you for watching this tutorial.